I flirt with girls that I have no romantic interest in. Weird flex, but okay. Now, to start this video, how I got in this situation was not in any way by my- Wait, hold on, hold on. What's going on in this? Hey, Vibby, don't judge. I know this is making me look like a terrible person, but- It definitely does. But- I'm just trying to tease the climax so the audience gets an idea of what direction this is gonna go. Well, it feels like... It's gonna go in a weird one. Well, no, it's actually... Yo, just skip to the monologue. Yo, just skip to the monologue. I feel like it's human nature to just, you know, suck sometimes. You know, flaws. It's something we all have. Like, I feel like the three things guaranteed should be death, taxes, and sucking. Not like that. Like, some people have issues interrupting people. Others might turn up the heat in the apartment to 73 degrees when I'm trying to record lines. Everybody is something different. But what I never really got was that, shouldn't this stuff be easy to fix though like look at these problems like they're pretty simple like yo dog i got a solution for all of you no y'all should try it is this crazy new thing called stop like it should really be that easy to just like just quit it it should it should <clears throat> let me let me explain myself real quick all right so over the last few months i've been trying to actively become a better person because if you haven't been around for a while I, I could have been like like a little a little better. The purge is a great idea. Or maybe secretly, I just want to f the car. I left my grandma on red once. I would rather lose 10 points every day than have to speak to you again. And to be honest, it feels like I've been taking a sh in my own laundry for the past 22 years. And typically, the solution to not sh in your laundry is, you know, like not sh in your laundry. But that is turning out to be a much harder task than previously expected. All right, so not too long ago, I made a video where I, uh, oopsie, flirted with a girl I wanted to just be friends with. Then oopsie, brought her up to my room at two o'clock in the morning where she, oopsie, tried to kiss me. And then I, oopsie, wanted to fucking die. And that was my flaw, uh, sending mixed signals because I was a piece of shit. But you know, everything was fine because at the end of that video, I said, uh, I learned how to not be a mixed signal. Well, gather around, kids, because that day, I became a real YouTuber. Because that was a lie. See, in that first situation, I had learned something that I thought was the solution to me sending mixed signals. Something I didn't really clarify in that video. And something I will clarify here. But not right now, not right now. And I thought by figuring that thing out, I, I was all Gucci. But in fact, there was something I didn't even think about. And it took me hurting another person to figure it out. Uh, there was this one night when I was out with six of my friends at this bar. Uh, three guys, three girls. Now everyone was doing their thing, except, you know, me. I was sitting at the bar by myself in my feelings. This was a pretty okay. typical night. And I had this weird feeling in my chest. You know that feeling when you have butterflies? Well, this was nothing like that. It was like if someone murdered all the butterflies and stacked their lifeless corpses on my sternum. All right, so I figured, hey, uh, let me go ahead and not be a walking depression diagnosis for once in my life. And I grabbed one of my female friends and brought her to the dance floor. And we'll call that girl Jess. Hey, Vivi, can I get a still a Jess here, please? Yeah, no. Wait, why not? Because based off the last two and a half minutes, I'm not sure how I feel about this story, let alone drawing anything for it. Listen, it's not that bad. <sighs> okay, it's a little bad. Exactly. But that's the point. It's a story about personal gr You know what? Never mind. It's fine. Uh, Ed and Kurt just use anime silhouettes or something. Now, me and Jess were cool, and we got along pretty well. We talk pretty often, and we're pretty good at making other laugh but it was some pretty platonic stuff you know nothing to really get your boxers in a ruffle over and i don't think that's a phrase and this dance was no different it was a nice friendly dance here but as time went on uh it got a little, little too friendly see as we kept dancing i could see that her face was inching ever closer to mine this seems familiar and as it kept going i then realized that each time her head inched closer her eyes would start to close and this seems familiar. Almost kind of like she was trying to... Oh! Fuck! See, let me tell y'all how my brain works. After what happened before, I set this precedent that if a girl is trying to kiss you out of the blue, there's something wrong. And there definitely was here, because I was confident I never sent this girl Vic signals. This didn't make any sense. But actually, it made complete sense, because in reality... I was sending mixed signals to her the whole time. Yeah, what a, what a fucking plot twist, yeah. See, to me, what was us getting along pretty well was actually her liking me. And us making each other laugh was actually me just 
flirting with her. I didn't really peep that until that moment. The crazy thing is though, for some reason in my brain, this didn't register as bad or even as me sending mixed signals. I, I don't know why, why, why are you a bad person? Now, like I said, I didn't like this girl like that. Kissing her would not only make things worse, but be like kissing my sister. And if you couldn't tell, there are no black people in Oreimo. But you, you seen the title of this video, you can probably guess what happened. As her lips closed in, I closed my eyes too. And I leaned back and dodged her attempt. <laughs> You have little faith. I had broken out of the matrix. Wait, you're a bad person, Kurt. Why didn't you kiss her? Well, whoever told you I was a bad person is a liar. Why are you a bad person? All right, let me throw this back to before I start telling the story. That one thing I identified that I was talking about earlier in the previous story, where I brought old girl upstairs like an idiot, was that I had a problem. And my logic was that if you know you have a problem, you can stop doing that problem or having whatever. How I treated Jess was just a huge lapse of judgment, but it was cool now because I again became aware of my flaw. And now it was time, time to, to stop. stop. There was no way I was going to make things worse here. I was gonna make it worse 20 minutes later. Yes, yes, you heard me right. See, after we finished dancing, I figured it would be smart to go to Jess and really clarify the bounds of our relationship since I had already caused so much damage. <laughs> so I started to walk up to her and I started to feel that feeling in my chest again. It was really weird. But now it wasn't the time to really think about that. I had to focus. Um, I went up to her. Okay, good. Grabbed her hand. That's a little weird, but all right. Put my phone in her hand. Why are you doing that? And asked for her number. I don't know if you knew this, but it wasn't exactly the message I was going for. See, what had happened was, even though it was time to stop, I didn't stop. Like really, on the outside to y'all, this probably seems like a really simple problem, probably why I, I seem like a very terrible person. If you wanna stop sending mixed signals to girls, stop sending mixed signals to girls, stop it! Stop it! Like, 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 even now, I'm like, what, how, how, how? <laughs> Something was missing. There, there was that second thing that I could not get down. And as I handed her my phone, screaming in my head, I asked myself a question that made me realize what that second thing was. I think I probably should have asked myself a long time ago, but it just came so naturally now. Why am I like this? <laughs> no, but seriously, that was the answer, why? If you can find out not only the problem, but the reason for the problem, then maybe you can learn to stop that and then stop the thing. But then the issue was figuring out the why. Like it felt like I was in a whole therapy session with myself and I needed it because I had fixed nothing. <laughs> in fact, I was further back in progress than I had ever been. But this whole cycle reached ahead one particular night. One night where I finally realized how far I went. All right, so the same deal as before. It's, it's been going on for a while. I meet a girl, we flirt, but I don't really like her, but I'm a terrible person, so I keep flirting with her. What the f Kurt? It has a moderately happy ending. Moderately? So this girl, I had just dropped off at her crib and I just arrived back at mine. And all of a sudden I get some text messages from the same girl. And she said something that really changed everything. You should have invited me over. Girl, now listen, I'm not the type to be bringing girls through to the crib, okay? Like, I'm not that kind of dude. Ask my friends. Oh, nah. Kurt's a bitch. But I was always down for, like, a little cuddle. You know what I'm saying? But this was some landmark mixed signal sending sh I had never deliberately asked a girl with ill intentions to come through, knowing I didn't like her. Like, yo, this was the worst it could get. But once again, I start to feel those dead butterflies in my chest. And then, before you know it, not f but what's crazy is that I was in the same situation I was in the first video laying with the girl I didn't want to be laying there with but this time I chose this I chose it for myself and as I was laying there next to her I, I tried to analyze like on my Sherlock sh what was similar between all those situations what was the one thing and if, for y'all that were paying attention that one thing I realized was that feeling in my chest. What was that? What, what was going on each time? Each time that thing was a factor. It, it, it just everything clicked. Like someone hit the light bulb in my head and, and punched me. I knew what that feeling was. 
Crippling loneliness. Ha ha. Oh, you old rascal. You got me again. Because each time it came is because I wanted someone's attention or I wanted someone to come in and be with me. And because I was lonely, I was perpetuating mixed signals. So old girl ended up leaving in the morning and I, I still laying in bed. I kind of felt relieved and now this isn't necessarily like a happy ending where i'm like oh i figured it out i know i know now like it's something i'm still working on but basically the point of this is that finding out how to change yourself is hard it's not it's not simple at all it takes like a deep dive and i'm still in that pool you know so to speak and i'm kind of just glad i made some progress even though i'm still a pretty terrible dude for doing all that stuff i feel like I i'm getting a little bit better and by figuring out those two things i'm finally going on the right path so yeah yeah, see, I told you it'd be fine. It was barely fine. Okay, yeah, it was a little shaky, but fine is fine. Wow. We're good. Woo, what's up, y'all? A uh, disclaimer. One, I'm not like a stud at all. I'm a pretty average dude. These three cases that I mentioned all happened like over the entire course of my college career. These were the only girls and I just happened to mess up my relationships with all of them. So yeah. Let me give a big shout out to the boy Johnny Ty for sending the line. Thank you and proving I have no friends. And also thank you to Get Mad, who I have on call right now for helping me with the thumbnail. It's dope. Uh, what do you think of the video? What, what do you mean? You're literally recording the outro right now. How could I have seen it? That's great. If you enjoyed that video, you guys might really, really like my uh, poorly titled. I'm attracted to animated girls video. It's pretty similar. Um, right up the same alley. You might be into it. Thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.